In the spirit of 2024, my new book notes on a 2022 autobiography, autobiography, so help me God, uh, of Mike Pence. Hi, Mike Pence. So this was one that I've seen at the library a few times. It has a very eye-catching binding. And so um, I was like, you know what? I should do, since I did one for Hillary Rodham Clinton, I should get in, like a set of like uh, a few politicians that I can provide some context on, put in my election voting and provide a little perspective on the person. So I'm Tannis Corley, Leonardi, she, her, hers of Seattle. And so this is going to be book notes on an autobiography of American politician, Mike Pence. So help me God by Mike Pence, 2022 Simon and Schuster edition, hardcover ISBN in the video description. And this is a copy just that was on the shelves, uh, on the shelf at a local library over here, uh, King County library system, public library system. Okay, so that's introduction. Book notes, including construction and design. Edson's a very attractive man. He was vice president of the United States of America when, during, um, when Donald Trump was president for his inaugural presidential ter term. And so this is somebody who I... <laughs> Uh, yes, I, d I did not vote for, but I did see on the ballot, so I did vote in the 2016 election, and I did not vote for him. However, he was one where he was chosen, and uh, I would say a lot of people liked him personally, so the, I think perhaps from my perspective, I'm an asexual, so this might go into pride curation, even though people are like, no, um, is... We're not afraid of a challenge, are we? All of us who are not heterosexual. This is a guy who believes in conversion therapy for people who are not heterosexual. Um, so he's a Republican. And so, you know, I'm like, okay. Now you, Mr. Mike Pence, if you if you ever get elected president, maybe we can transition from uh you know, no, we're gonna start start our push now from the LGBT lgbtq plus community with the a for asexual somewhere in there yeah we're pushing instead of conversion therapy how about you bring the death penalty back <sighs> okay um <laughs> we're, gonna, we're gonna say spare us please <laughs> so that is my pride creation i'm not i'm not i'm not too desperate or too low to be like we want our rights yes okay um so yeah, we're not afraid of a challenge all right so it's a big book it is 542 pages is the last page of the index. And then there's an about the author. Oh, he's an Indiana guy. So if you guys like Indiana, it says in the back he was born in Indiana, born and raised. And it is full text pages and smaller text size. We got page numbers at the top, name of the book, and then um, name of the chapter. So instead of the author name, name of the chapter, there is a table of contents. So you can know what chapter you want. If you want the number, it just so it just puts the name of the chapter and put the number of the chapter at the top. Um, there's multiple sets of photographs. So here's the first one. It's about similar in design to the 2003 autobiography for Hillary Rodham Clinton. Uh, and then here's the second one. There's, it's a mixture, actually, of grayscale slash black and white and color imagery. And then they also have, like, I was like, they have a, he has, like, a, I, I don't know if it's a card or something, but, like, one, a uh, campaign flyer. So, when he was running for Congress in 1988. Um, so, I thought that was kind of fun. I was like, I would actually put, like, an, a visual of the actual campaign material. It's kind of fun. And... He has uh, pictures of both of him with both the leader of Russia and a uh, leader of, I guess, president of Russia and president of Ukraine. I was like, see, that's clever if you're on good terms with Russia, because that is an anomaly, right, um, for Americans. So if you're running for president, the ability to talk to both sides and specifically be on good terms with Russia is the far more impressive of the two because of how rare we friendly with Russians are. Um, so maybe having somebody who's capable of being kind to Russians would be a good thing as president. 
Uh, I support that more than somebody who can't. Be kind to Russians in the Russian present, no matter who it is. Same with Ukraine, the Re Ukrainian president, and whoever it is. And, and if you're not, just then talk to the person. But then that's how Mike Pence ends up with a monopoly on being on good terms with both sides. Right? Is that unique to the Republicans? In the United States of America. Anyway, so I thought it was, it was actually a great book. <laughs> I read the pictures. Um, so, uh, yeah, I was a, it, there was a, I did actually read some of the pages, but I didn't read the whole thing. This is a book notes. This is a different approach um, for conveying there is a book out there and making it relevant to my life story. And he was a guy I did, that did not bother me. He's a good looking guy too. Um, and it was interesting. I'm looking through the pictures. He's one of those guys that looks more attractive as he gets older. Like some people are really spectacular silver foxes. They're like silver Silver white, yeah, I'm going to go with silver fox. He's a silver fox. He looks better now than like in his pictures, you know, 30 years ago. So there you go. Uh, in conclusion, hefty book, including uh, here as part of some projects here on my YouTube channel, um, but also to show a little, this is one of the politicians that has been in power Vice President of uh, United States of America yeah, during my lifetime. So there we go. It's book notes on a 2022 autobiography. So help me out of Mike Pence.